Hey guys, in this video we'll be talking about on how we can install the Omega 27.2 version which is recently out now for Galaxy S3 smartphone. So there's a Galaxy S3 smartphone which you're watching it right now on your screen. So before proceeding that, you need to ensure that your device is rooted and also installed with a custom recovery image of whose links will be mentioned in the below article. So once it's done, you have to set the download the Omega 27.2 Jelly Bean update package in your computer. And then with the help of USB cable, connect your Galaxy S3 to the computer. And then place the Omega Z5 which have downloaded it in your external SD card and not in the phone memory. So once it's done, disconnect the phone from the computer and on it to do is just turn off the device. Turn off the device. So that the, we can enter the device in the recovery mode. Alternately, you, you can also enter the uh, Galaxy S3 into the recovery mode with the help of From Manager app by selecting the option of Reboot Enter Recovery Mode. So, assuming that if you have not downloaded the ROM Manager just by any chance, you can anyways enter the device in the recovery mode manually. So the device is turned off, and now you'll be just you're allowed to press the volume up key and then the menu button and then holding these both buttons just press the power button till you see the recovery screen so this is the recovery screen which you are seeing it right now so since the touch based recovery you do first select the option of wipe cache partition which will wipe all the cache data and then select the option of wipe data or factory reset Once it's done, it to set some of advanced and then wipe Dalvik cache. And then also you need to set the option of wipe battery charge. As many people see that uh, doing this will improve the battery life in the new custom room firmware. So then that you have done this, but next you will have to set the option of install the from SD card and then choose the from external SD card. And then the Omega 27.1 zip file which are placed in your device with the help of volume keys and the power button to select the same. Now there's a progress bar which will help you tell on what's the percentage of and all. So there's Omega ROM, this for International Galaxy S3 okay. Just tap on next to proceed and continue with Omega ROM installation uh, there are type of installations out of which you can select any of those so we'll better go with default installation just tap on install just tap on install once it's done you can see the progress bar on how much it's done so I can see that wiping preload is going on then the wiping tablet cache has finished cache also has been wiped off and also the default files are now being copied which are in the process as you can see the progress bar over here the best part of this firmware is it comes with a uh, much thematic of ICS jelly bean and also it comes with as in the standard features of call recorder and email with extension security preserved like if you are having enterprise email configured in your smartphone Generally what it does is as a policy after every 5 to 10 seconds or 15 seconds you will have to enter the password to unlock your device. So this thing has been disabled in this device which will ensure that the security is being disabled. So once it's done. Just tap on next to proceed. And now as you can see that Omega 27.1 has been installed into the device. Just reboot the device to finalize it. You have selected the option of reboot system now. This is the Omega boot animation which I've seen it right now.
please note that you will have to wait for a minute or two for applying this update and to boot up want to see the home screen in your LCS3 because since it's the first reboot it will have to finalize all the apps which are there installing the device and also the whole file system will have to be rebuilt so just wait for the same because it may take around one to three minutes of time and also sometimes it may take more than that time as well Ensure that you are not interrupting the process with the help of power, pressing the power button or something like that because it may even eventually break your device. And also prior to this, ensure that last but not the least, the battery life in your device should not fall below 30% of the knocking. Or else there is a probability that your device may end up getting bricked up for which you should not be held responsible in any manner. So you can see that still the file systems are being finalized and you are not able to see the home screen. Just wait for a bit. This is one of the most uh, best custom ROM firmware in your in, in the world of custom ROM firmware for Galaxy S3 because there have been 27 versions that is out now and also it comes with most of the added benefits with the help of feedback given by users. And developers have taken pains in customizing it to your needs. So now it's all up. As you can see that. It's asking for the country selection, say UK or US, as per your choice or any other country as well. Step on next. You can skip this one. You can skip all of these. Google location phone belongs to. This can be handled out at a later stage. No thanks. Okay, finish. Okay. So that's it. So this is the uh, Omega firmware. This comes with the all chat on default app, audio manager you have got, audio manager you have got, and also FM is there. And then apart from this, you have got different app called Omega File, JB, Rescan Media Root. Omega Files looks interesting. Let's check out on what exactly it, it is. You have also got OTA update wherein you can set up the software update. This will be checking out the later stage. So also comes the S voice, S suggest, etc. So all in all this is one of the simple looking firmware with no extra crappy features. So let's check out the version of the firmware it comes with. Tap on menu button, settings. After which you'll have to go to the option of about device. And then the build number as you can see, Omega 27.1 XX DLIB based. This overall firmware is pretty much smooth. There's a video hub is there, music player is there, flipboard app is there by default. So all the apps which are there are by default and wallpapers these are the live wallpapers which are there in it and apart from this this also comes with all the standard features which are there the help of features are there you can enable it help of here so all in all this is one of the best formats ever as it's simple and smart so that's it from us stay tuned for more updates